Hi, my name is Stefan Hotto, co-founder of Xivero. Our goal is the production of a portable, software-defined radio, easy to use and highly flexible. The Xi1 software-defined radio has been designed around mobility, not only including the hardware, but also a bundle of applications covering smartphones, tablets, as well as Windows, macOS and Linux systems. In contrast to a normal radio, an SDR is able to display a wide frequency range that can be observed to select certain transmissions. Because the demodulation and decoding of signals happens in software algorithms, the system can be easily reconfigured without touching the hardware itself. This tablet application prototype is an example for a wide band spectrum analyzer showing the power density spectrum of a 20 MHz bandwidth. It can be used for signal intelligence to find and identify unknown signal sources. The ADSB prototype maps airplane position, speed, altitude, course, vertical rate and the flight number on a virtual radar screen by receiving the automatic dependent surveillance broadcast messages. Depending on the antenna position, airplanes up to 200 km away are detectable. Similar to ADSB, the automatic identification system provides chip positions. The AIS prototype tablet app displays the chip position, speed, course, relative distance, as well as bearing on a radar screen and tracking list. Just start up C1 and step into a new world of radio frequency applications, without the need for special knowledge and therefore steep learning curves. To continuously enhance Xi1's capabilities, we like to encourage the maker community to develop their own applications. A well-documented application interface and a software development kit including code examples make it easy to start the integration of new applications. There is no need to install special drivers because all interfaces are based on standard network protocols, so it is simple to operate the device within all environments. A huge frequency range from 100 kHz up to 1.7 GHz opens up a wide field of operations. The built-in wideband amplifier ensures a strong signal-to-noise ratio to receive weak signals. Strong RF shielding assures a low level of crosstalk between the RF pass and the processing unit to keep the noise level as low as possible. The SDR has its own power supply, allowing more than two hours of mobile usage easily extendable with an external USB battery pack. We have a working prototype, but now we need your help to step into serial production. Please visit our webpage to get more information.